YouTube, it's Missy, and today I'm here to share with you guys my Vlogmas Day 19. Now, at the beginning of the year, I decided I was going to be a part of all these different, like, reading challenges. And instead of focusing on the ones that I completely failed at, I'm going to talk about the one that I thrived, that I, like, was so good at, and I'm very excited to share with you guys. So, I participated in the A through Z challenge, which means that you read a book starting with the letter of the alphabet all the way till you get from A to Z, and then, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's basically it. You just have to read a book with the title starting with that letter. Uh, I think, I think you can cheat a little bit, and it can be an author's first or last name that starts with that letter, too. If not, I did so with a couple of the harder ones, like you and why, because I didn't read any of those kinds of books this year. But I'm going to share with you all of the books that I did read. All of these, well, 98% of these are from my bookshelves, and the other ones that are on this list that I don't have, that I borrowed from the library, will be here in a picture form. All right, so let's start. So the first book we have here is A for Alice by Christina Henry. I gave this book five stars. The next book is Bird Box Double B by Josh Mallerman. I also gave this book five stars. <laughs> There's a theme. The next book I have here is Carrie by Stephen King, his first novel ever written, and I gave this one 4.5 stars. It was pretty good. I'm a little biased. It should have been like four, but <laughs> let's move on. Next we have Dark Places for the letter D by Gillian Flynn. I gave this book four stars. I'm pretty sure every Gillian Flynn book I've ever read, I've given four stars to. Then we have E for Etiquette and Espionage, double E by Gail Carriger. I gave this book four stars. And then we have F here, which I read French Milk by Lucy Neasley, and this is a memoir of her going to France with her mother. I liked it a lot. Uh, it was in black and white, which I enjoy her color more, but it was good. I gave that one four stars. Uh, most of these books are going to have four or five stars. I tried to pick the ones that had the highest ratings because I did read a lot of letters this year. The next letter I have is G for Gemina, and this is by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and I gave this sequel five stars. The next book I have here is Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk. I gave this one four stars. There was also Hex here, which I gave five stars to, and I also read Heartless by Gail Carriger. This is book four in the Parasol Protectorate series. I believe I gave this one also four stars. Next I have I, Insanity by Cameron Jace. I gave this one four stars. I also have Illumine, also starts with the letter I. This is the first book in the Illumine files. I gave this one four stars. The next letter is J for Jellaby, the very cute middle grade graphic novel. I read books one and two by Keen So, and I gave these ones four stars each. The next book I have here is Lolita for my L book. Uh, this is by Vladimir Novikov and I gave this one four stars. I also have Lock In by John Scalzi which I also gave four stars to. Next I have M. So I have two M's here. I have Mary, nope, I have Mary the Summoning, book one, and Mary Unleashed, book two in the Bloody Mary duology by Hilary Monahan. These both started with the letter M. I also have Mr. Mercedes, two M's, Mr. and Mercedes by Stephen King. M. For N, I have Nosferatu by Joe Hill. I read this gigantic book this year. It was amazing. I loved it. Best book ever by Joe Hill that I've read so far. Loved it! I also read Nimona by uh, Noelle Stevenson. I gave this one five stars, I believe. I haven't reviewed this yet, but it was so good. Next, I have letter O. So I have On the Edge. This is my uh, 
arc that I got from the publishers um, by Corinne Duavis. And this is a sci-fi YA and it was amazing and I gave this one four stars. Next I have P and I read Picnic at Hanging Rock by Joan. Joan Lindsay or is it Lindsay Joan? I think it's Joan Lindsay. Um, set in Australia. Absolutely loved it. And yeah, you should totally pick it up. I gave that one four stars. Now, Q. Q is the only one that I could not cheat on. I did not read anything for Q. So Q gets a big X. Wah, wah. Next letter is R. We have Red Shirts by John Scalzi. Super funny sci-fi uh, parody of Star Trek. Letter S is Solace by Gail Carriger. This is the first book in the Parasol Protectorate series. This is an adult urban fantasy, and I gave this book five stars. I also read Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I gave this one 4.5 stars. And another S book, Smoke Gets in Your Eyes and Other Stories. Oh, Other Lessons from the Crematory from um, Caitlin Dowdy. And I gave this one five stars. For my tea book, I have 13th Tale by Diane Setterfield, another five-star book. This was amazing. Next is You, and this is where I'm cheating. Uh, this is volume two of Monster, because volume one is at the library, but Urasawa starts with the letter U, and that's the man's last name. And I did read volume one this year, so go me. The next book I have is Letter V, which is Vampires in the Lemon Grove by Karen Russell. Super funny. I gave this one four stars. And for W, I have two books. I have Woman in Black by Susan Hill and Windsor People by Jennifer McMahon. This one got... Oh, they both got 4.5 stars. All right. Now, I'm, this is another Cheats. Cheats McGeats. Uh... For X, I'm choosing Exorcist. X, Exorcist, Exorcist. Or this says the letter X. It sounds X. Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. I gave this book four stars. And then I have Y. Um, I gave this book away to a friend already, so you won't see the actual book. But it's Hotel Iris by Yoko Ogawa. Yoko starts with the letter Y. I'm cheating a little bit for that one. And the very last book, which seems to be really hard for some people, and I happened to just find a book, which was super exciting, and that is Zebra Fish here. And that is by Sharon Emerson, and I gave this a uh, middle grade graphic novel four stars. And that was my A to Z challenge. How did you guys do? Did you read a lot of books in one letter. Uh, did you participate in this challenge? I think I'm going to do this again next year. I thought this was really fun. The previous year, in 2015, I actually wrote all of the books down for each letter that I wanted to read, and this time I just completely left it blank and filled out um, while I was reading each book. So yeah, I'm excited that I got... I was only missing three letters. Two, I cheated on. One, I definitely could not do because Q is such a hard letter. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye!